50 million children are working and living in the streets around the globe, selling trinkets to tourists. In the worst cases, they're pulled into the sex trade and drug world. But an organization in Cambodia is getting them off the streets one by one and teaching them job skills that will guarantee a better future. New specialist Sarah Dolph is on assignment in Southeast Asia this year and joins us from Phnom Penh with their story. They're children that everyone looks at, but no one really sees. Street kids, they sell everything from books to souvenirs around Phnom Penh's most popular landmarks. They're working because they have to. They have no other option, no education, and in a lot of cases, nowhere to call home. He says, I used to be on the street in front of the royal palace. I used to be hooked on drugs. Then one day I met an outreach team and they told me I could change my life. 24-year-old Sapiap is a story of success from those streets. That outreach group was run by Friends International who helped him get here. Off drugs and learning how to run a restaurant. Everything from the line in the kitchen to the front of the house. He says, I hope more street kids can have this opportunity. This is one that we don't have on the menu yet, right? Yeah. Business and hospitality coordinator Gustav Auer has been around from the beginning. It was actually his job to get the organization's two public restaurants off the ground. Many people say, oh, you're doing such a great job and you're doing something so good and you're so, you're giving, you're so giving. Actually, I get more in return than I actually give because what you get back is Undescribable. The two restaurants, Ramdang and Friends the Restaurant, are huge successes, nabbing the top two spots on TripAdvisor's list of places to eat. And on a random Monday, during both lunch and dinner, they're full, and the kitchens are buzzing. And in a corner of that kitchen, Sri Nim, 17-year-old, has been with the program for four years. An outreach team met her on the streets as she was selling water and flowers. Now, when she graduates, she's thinking of opening her own restaurant, one that would serve both Khmer and Western food. She says, I feel like now I have a brighter future. And that's what Friends International is really serving up. Hope, the ability to dream of good things to come. A life off the streets and a career of which these students can be proud. We heard hours say that this operation got bigger than anyone expected. They are actually now in eight countries worldwide. They also have a line of cookbooks. You can check them out and learn more about the students on KSL.com. In Southeast Asia, I'm Sarah Dolliff, KSL 5 News. Great opportunities.